this lesson we're working on factoring trinomials. What we're looking for is which two binomials multiply together to be this trinomial. We're going to have x plus something times x plus something else, and we want it to foil out to be this expression right here, x squared plus 5x plus 6. So what we're looking for are two numbers that multiply to be 6, because whatever two numbers we have here on our last step of the FOIL method, they'll be multiplied by each other. And since they're the only two numbers that don't have the variable in them somewhere, those two together have to equal this last term. So we need two numbers that multiply to be 6, so they'd have to be either 6 and 1, or 2 and 3. And then since we're taking our first term times one of those, and our first uh, x term over here times the other one, they're going to have to add up to be this middle term right here. So we need two numbers that multiply to be 6, but add to be 5. Now we can see that 6 and 1 don't add to be 5, but 2 and 3 do. So our two numbers should be 2 and 3. We should have x plus 2, or 3, and x plus the other one, 2, or 3. And we can check it by actually foiling it out. x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. And 2 times x is 2x. So that's 5x. And then 2 times 3 is 6. So we have our expression, x plus 2 times x plus 3. And that's our answer. Factoring trinomials really does get easier with practice, so we're going to do a couple of them here just to get a little more comfortable with the process. Here we have x squared plus 7x plus 12. So what we need are two numbers that multiply to be 12 and add to be 7. So multiply to be 12 could be 6 and 2, could be 12 and 1, could be 3 and 4. There's a number of different possibilities. 6 and 2 would add to be 8, so that won't work. 12 and 1 is 13, that won't work. 3 and 4 is 7. So 3 and 4 is probably our pair. So let's see if that works. We'd have x plus 3 and x plus 4. So we'd have x squared, and then we'd have 4x and 3x. That's our 7x. And then 3 times 4, that's our 12. So yep, our correct solution, our correct factoring is x plus 3 times x plus 4.